Hey y'all, coming to you from the international headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2020 Deuces Wild and Joker's Wild car shows in Atlantic City, and I came across a 1970 Monte Carlo I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. John, what a beautiful Monte Carlo. Tell me a little bit about it. Thank you. Uh, it's a 1970 Super Sport. Uh, they made about 3,800 of them in 70, and we got it to be a, a driver, but all of a sudden there was a whole lot of provenance that came along with it, and step-by-step uh, uh, step, we took it to this level. I got you. So once you found out what you actually had, then it became more important to preserve it or restore it. Well, it did. I'm a, I'm a historian and genealogist, and I just uh, I, I wanted to preserve it. So this was like finding some Egyptian claim or something, right, but in car form. Well, that's exactly right. It was a garage find, uh, I found, although I found it online. Hemmings, uh, uh, it, was, it was always garaged, and um, that's how we found it. Tell me a little bit about what makes it unique. Uh, unique. The uniqueness of it is the the, uh, the SS package, the 454. Um, How many of those did they make? 3,823 in oh, 1970. In 1970. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, because of that, it, it is unique. And then he, the, the original, we're the second owner. The original owner, we bought it out of his estate. Uh, and he, other than that, he didn't do much with it. Uh, power steering, power brakes, and tinted windows. I mean, the thing has a basic AM radio. Uh, it doesn't have any of the flowers and bells and whistles. So it wouldn't have been a loaded car? No, not at all. Not at all. And it's an automatic. Did they come in manual? They, the, not the 454. I understand the 40, uh, 402 did, okay. uh, but not the uh, 454. They, From what I understand, they all came with a three-speed uh, three automatic, which is a uh, turbo 400. Right. And it's got the 12-bolt 12 12 bolt, uh, rear. From the factory? To, yes, from the factory to be able to handle that power. And I don't remember seeing a lot of them in that color. No, you don't, and you also don't see them without the without the vinyl roof. Right, right. Uh, but that's uh, it's it's a little bit of an unusual color, and uh, not being a green guy, I was a little concerned uh, as we went along. And about six months before the process was over, and we had paint on it, I just grew to love it. But there was really nothing you could do. It had to go back to the had, color it was born. It's the GM Code 45 over 45, and, and that's what we stuck with. Everything on this car is as it came from the factory. And Dink over at Superior, he just. And nailed it, right? Did, ama did a, uh, an amazing job. Eddie is uh, Eddie's so great to work with. I did some, he, you know, he let me do some work on the car, uh, which which helps me be invested in the car uh, personally, and uh, uh, and I enjoyed it. Right on. Now it turned out beautiful, brother. Thanks so much for giving me some time today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sometimes you run out of audio before you run out of video. And this car, although it doesn't have a lot of custom touches to it, is just an absolutely gorgeous back to stock, what you would have hoped to have gotten in 1970 if you had went to the Chevrolet dealership and bought a 1970 SS 454 Monte Carlo. Now I know Eddie over there at Superior Auto Works and he takes great lengths and pains to make sure that these cars, the chalk marks are right, the clips were right, everything about this car was as right as it could have been for 1970 Chevrolet. One of the things that John didn't mention too was the suspension is a G67 automatic level control system. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but that sounds awful, awful special. And also it had the Z20 Monte Carlo SS package. I've never heard it called that, but what an awesome restoration. You know, this car was just, I mean, it was never ever this nice, but this is what you dream of if you're into Monte Carlo SS's. And look at that, Chevy orange. I mean, that just never goes out of style and it's never not cool. We painted the uh, engine block of the uh, SSUV Chevy Orange. That makes me smile every time I open the hood. And again, Eddie did just a gorgeous job up underneath here of taking it back to, you know, what it would have looked like in 1970, just a whole lot nicer than that. The paint too, obviously they didn't, they used a 1970 color, but they didn't use 1970 products. They've used a two-stage environmentally friendly paint process on it this time. And I like how they took the wheels off of one side and left them on the other so you can see all of that. Just a gorgeous car, awesome display, both client, of course you want to see the window sticker, right? That's always cool to look at, see what these things cost and how they listed stuff. The client and the builder had the same vision and um, 
they worked together to make it happen. So kudos to them. I think it really turned out great. And of course, the Deuces Wild Car Show in Atlantic City had a ton of really nice stuff there. If you're in the area, you've never been, you got to get out to this event. It's a big event, car auction, two car shows, just a lot of fun, a great way to spend the weekend for sure. So there you go from the 2020 Deuces Wild Car Show in Atlantic City, a 1970 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS454. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video. Thank you.